Okay, let's start with the next uh, technique. It is Jacobi iteration method. So when you see the word iteration, it's implied that in this process, there is the iterative okay, uh, process in size. Okay, so uh, we will start with the system of equation ax equal to b. Okay, and if we write a matrix A, it would be A11, A12. Assume this is like 3 by 3 matrix. This is the second row is A21, A22, A23, A31, A32, A33. Okay, and this is the matrix X, X1, X2, X3 equal to B1, B2, B3. Okay, and if you uh, separately uh, write each equation, you will get uh, the equation A11, X1 plus A. 1, 2, x2 plus a13 x3 equal to b1. Right. And the second equation is a21 x1 plus a22 x2 plus a23 x3 equal to b2. Right. And the last equation would be a31 x1 a32 x2 plus a33 x3 equal to b3. Okay. So if this is the first equation, so from the first of equation, I can rearrange the equation to be in this uh, form, which is B1 minus A12 X2 minus A13 X3 divided by A11. Okay. And also from the second equation, right? So we got uh, a21 x1 plus a22 x2 plus a23 x3 equal to b2. This is equation 2. And from here, I can write x2 would equal to b2 minus a21 x1 minus a23 x3 and divided by a22 okay and the last equation from the system of equation is a31 x1 plus a32 x2 and so on right so i would write down here is this a31 x1 plus a 32x2 plus A33x3 equal to B3. And here we can write X3 does equal to B3 minus A31x1 minus A32x2 divided by A. 3 3 okay here's equation 3 okay from uh, this equation what you actually get you get equation 4 okay and you get equation 5 you get equation 6 Okay, so the step of the Jacobi iteration, okay, the step of the Jacobi iteration, after you get x1, okay, so from equation 4 here, okay, after you get x1 equal to b1 minus a12 x2, minus a13x3 over 
put a one one in equation four to equation six. I will rewrite again. Okay, so this is equation five. And equation six is so from here you got three equations. This step would start with first you need to assume, okay. You need to assume okay initial value for x1 x2 x3 at the initial value okay. okay and from these three equation x in the right side would assign to be the kth iteration the kth iteration is the k iteration and for the left side it would be k plus one iteration k plus one iteration okay after you set the the iteration to each side okay i will show you how the Jacobi work. So if we start at the initial value, x1 of x2 and x3, okay, then you put, uh, this is x, oh sorry, this is, no, not this one. This is x2. You put in x2, right? And this is x3. You put on x3, okay? So what you get is here. So right now you get x1 at the first iteration, right? And then you try to plug in x1 at the zero iteration, x3 at the zero iteration. What you get is x2 at the first iteration okay and you do it again for the last equation so it means that you plug in x1 at the initial value of x1 and also x2 in this value what you get is x3 at the first iteration right so the next after you got this iteration, this is the first iteration, you can continue plug in, okay, to the previous equation here, right, to get S1 at the second round, and also X2 at the second round, and also X3 at the second round. You do it again and again, okay? So you do it uh, repeatedly. Okay. Finally, how to stop? Okay, the stopping criteria. Would set on absolute of x i at the k plus 1 iteration minus x i at the k iteration divided by x i at the k plus 1 iteration term 100 and this must satisfy okay oh, it must withstand a certain uh, tolerance or accept acceptable value okay 
So this must apply for all of xi. Okay. So every every x must satisfy this stopping criterion. Then you will break the iteration. Okay, the iteration will stop.